Hello? Hello, 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 hello. What's going on, everybody? Uh, Malf here. Um, a little something special. Something interesting. Something competitive. But ultimately, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a fun, good time. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I've recently kind of returned to, to YouTube and, and, and prepping to, to play some different games and do some different things. And Spelunky is kind of one of those games I always return to in general. It's just uh, one of my all-time favorites. And lo and behold, a couple of guys are like, hey, let's, uh, let's have some fun. So we're doing what's called the uh, the the Golden Goblet series, I, I believe is the the official name, uh, and it maybe has implications beyond Spelunky. Who knows? We'll see how this goes and uh, and and how fun and and just well received it is, and I think it will be. But um, yeah, basically, before I get into it, I need to explain this because. Uh, it may it may affect my ability to perform. Northern Lion, Dan Giesling, and myself are going to be doing the daily run for Spelunky every day for you know a little while. Uh, who knows how long it'll it'll go on for? But um, we'll be uploading these episodes every day at the same time and not knowing each other's scores we're not going to be checking uh the scoreboards the leaderboards you know before or after um like during the recording of this video um or even after you know we will all know each other's scores when everybody watching and when once the videos go live at 3 p.m est 12 p.m pst right um that's when we'll get a chance to check out. Uh, so it's kind of like a fun little thing. Um, we're gonna, you know, see see who wins each uh, each daily, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I, you know, the the rule it doesn't matter. Just for now, we're just gonna see who wins and, and keep track of that. And then, uh, yeah. So let's just get to it. I'm gonna play a little bit differently than I normally do. Um, doing these these dailies i typically i don't i don't play the dailies uh hardly ever because to to win you need a high score of and, and by high score i don't mean like you know uh it doesn't matter how many levels you go to it doesn't matter if you beat the game it's all about money 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 so you could die technically, theoretically, on 1-1. One, one. But if you somehow, you know, got a lot of money and you, you got the ghost to come and, and turn everything into, uh, into gold or uh all the gems and the diamonds and, and collect them and stuff you you know you can make a you can make some some decent cheddar i typically don't play that way because um wow okay that that's that's luck see this is this is gonna be an issue for me i'm gonna try to get as much money as possible but also um not take damage and sometimes to get money you gotta oof that was a bad throw. Okay, I did what I wanted to do. I just, uh, it wasn't efficient and it didn't look cool. Um, but yeah, basically you want to finish with the highest amount of money. And I don't typically play that way because I know different ways to get a lot of money. And that's cool and all. But, um, <laughs> um, you know, I don't want to say it's boring, but sometimes, I mean, if you're really looking to, to turn all these gems into diamonds and get the extra money, it takes time. Um, it's not so bad for maybe one level here and there, but if you're doing it every level, that, that takes a lot of time. So, because we're doing these every day, I don't want to set a precedent of me just trying to ghost, you know, as, as I... I call it. I don't know. Other people probably call it different things, but um, be careful, be careful. So, yeah. 
Um, I'm gonna basically, you know, maybe at certain points when it's just like obscenely easy. That's already gone off, okay. Um, yeah, when it's obscenely easy to do some of that stuff, I will. But for now, no. Um, having a couple extra, I, I, there's one thing I, I need to kind of, I'm activating my autopilot of sorts, right? So I'm hoping I don't in turn make some mistakes, but, um, I definitely want to keep like a couple, um, things like always in mind, I guess, at the, at the front of my mind. Um, oof. Okay. Uh, one is, you know, having sufficient bombs to get to the black market, right? It's like, you, I want to use bombs to get access to certain things. Sometimes we'll, we'll need it for, uh, to get the key or, you know, maybe some crates and stuff like that. So I don't want to be stingy, but at the same time, Hmm. At the same time, I, uh... Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to focus and not die. Um, I don't want to be stingy. Come on, jump over here. That didn't go as planned. I, the thing is, I want is sticky stuff. And the money. That should get him? That's go, okay. You know, again, like I was saying, I don't want to be too liberal with the bombs. You don't want to be too stingy. Um, for sure, I could have done that. Probably, uh... I mean, you can kill them with only one bomb. The other thing is, I'm not going to try to spend too much time getting Monty. You know, it's helpful, but a lot of times you end up because you're forced... To, to rush, maybe. Um, and that can get you hurt. So, okay, good. The chest is down there. Um, so I have to be really mindful of that. And the other thing is just, like, taking the extra second to identify traps or, like, before you move into another area, it's like, what could happen, right? So I'm going to jump on this guy, but if I jump on him, I might, you know, physically, like, I'll bounce off of him and then, um, you know, go into this trap or get hit by that da 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 so you really gotta think a few steps ahead um or think of the possible outcomes of of every action and uh yeah so that's where just oh my um see this could be good because you get gems from each of these guys but again i don't have uh, a shotgun i feel like maybe if i had to kill the shopkeeper on the last one that would have been uh Good, but it's kind of risky because, you know, it's a shopkeeper. Um, even like getting into the vault, um, I should try to knock down that stuff though because that's money. That's easy money. Um, I wouldn't mind actually this head because it'll get me some money slash... Okay, the reason the journal entry is there is because this is a newer save file. Okay. This isn't my first time grabbing a one of these guys. Um, see? Stuff, you gotta be ready. Some stuff just comes out of, out of nowhere. Okay. Just, just gonna try and grab everything that I can since I'm not using bombs right now to get stuff. Okay, nothing there. That's fine. Is there anything down under here? Okay, let's just be careful about that. Get this little little nugget and you're thinking, oh, mouth, that's 200, eh? 200, uh, it adds up. It adds up. If I get every 200 on every level, that's a, that's a few thousand. 
you know? Alright, so this is definitely a situation you gotta be careful with. Okay. Now, that is... Oof. Very tempting. There are many very tempting things here. Um, I would like... To get those crates. One, two, three. Okay. Come on. I think it takes 12, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just watch the webs. Watch the webs. Come on. 10. Oh, it's 10. Okay. Even easier. One bomb is worth it because for two crates, I mean, the odds of one of them being bombs is, is pretty high. Um, both being bombs is pretty nice, not going to lie. A little, little risky, but I know the, uh, the explosion pattern. From here, I mean, I'm doing it. gonna destroy some gems and stuff for sure um but it's also just gonna oops hey there we go it's also just gonna make some stuff a little more available for me which is nice okay there you go I'm actually legitimately surprised. I did not know there was a shopkeeper here. I am legitimately surprised. Um, I wouldn't have done that. I don't know how he didn't get got, but uh, this is that's a perfect shop to me. The freeze ray is like the easiest way to kill the shopkeeper. Like, unless you somehow whiff and don't stomp on him in time, which I, I suppose is possible. Um, then that sucks. But. Okay. I'm also, you know, my dialogue, my my commentary is going to be a little suff, uh, suffering or lacking for now. Both suffering and lacking because, you know, I want to win. This is, uh, this is a, a chance to, to win. And it only takes one little mistake. And mistakes often happen when you're not focusing on the game too much. You know? So I think I'd rather just kind of explain what I'm doing for now and my, my thought process while I'm doing it. Um, you know, I'm not going to try to bomb every single gem, but bits here and there uh, add up. And I do have, um, you know, I have a bit of a cushion for when we get to the black market and there's certainly going to be more. Uh, when we get to the black market. And we're going to get them all because we've aggroed. Um, I also want the Kapala. So we're for sure going to get Monty on here. And then um, if we could get a couple shopkeepers. No, I'm not going to get the... I'm not going to put the the idol on here and get the the golden monkey. I might just, I mean, I want to get it in general. Okay. Um, first, let me see what that is. Okay. Oh, I have climbing gloves. Okay. That makes things even easier. That is just also being aware of what you're working with. Cause sometimes you'll make decisions and you'll be like, oh, I didn't actually need to do that. Cause I had X item. Um, no piranha. That's another thing. Oh, okay. So the black market is, okay. I see it down to the right here. That's actually a pretty good one. I don't, you don't even need the Ujedi to see that one. Um, I would like to vault these, this guy. And by vault, I mean, just crack it open. 
Oh, I did not get him. That's fine. All right, it, it dropped on him. That's that's good. That's good. That's good. Now the thing is, I didn't want to put both their dead bodies on the uh, the watch them call it. So um, I'm gonna do this and that. Oof. Let's see if we can get the ghost to pass right through there, actually. This will be worth it. This is going to help me a lot. Okay. Now the trick is getting the ghost far enough away. The ghost is already here, so it's like, as long as I'm careful. Oh, I forgot about the idol. Um, do that so I can climb up that wall. Um, just get some height. And then we'll drop down. Okay. And try to take this guy out quickly, but safely. So I always like to destroy it up higher. Like that. Let them pop out. Okay. Well, we missed we missed a couple here. Uh, I'm honestly not going to worry about the, uh, the head. We're just going to go in. Five bombs is enough to get me started here. Five ropes. Uh, you can start. I always have kind of the same pattern um, with this. Get up. Oh, God. I actually panicked real hard there. I wanted the rope right to the left one, but... Okay, that'll help a little bit, I think. Okay. You want them just to drop down, you know? You don't have to kill them right away. All right. And then line of sight, because the other one's usually over there. And even if not, you just... You got to go for it. And before I put any items on, you want to make sure you're picking it up. Eliminate other threats. And then kind of same thing here. Just try to open this up so they drop down. And usually they, they end up killing themselves. They'll, they'll get hit by the tiki traps. Um, or my expert bomb placement. Oh my god! Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, that's a little bit of luck and a little bit of, like, not luck. They, you gotta, the Air Jordans is what we call those. They just try to come at you. Also, I'm being a little calm, calm yourself, mouth. Me talking about almost dying is almost getting me killed again, so dial it in. We got 43 bombs, so, you know, we'll use them, but first, so this is a, this is a level I actually want a ghost, just because, um, it's like a little bit more contained, you know the layout a bit more, so I'm just gonna go around starting to bomb stuff, you know, this is, this one definitely I don't mind bombing a lot of, since we have the bombs too. Be careful you don't hit the, the shotgun into you, yourself. Um, okay. That guy. If we accidentally pick up a couple gems, it's, it's no biggie. Uh, I actually am going to get rid of a lot of these tiki traps because you never know when you're, you're zipping and zopping around trying to... Uh, trying to pick everything up. You don't want to accidentally uh, come at me, bro. There you go. Don't have spike shoes. Um, just gonna try to get in here again. Oh, see what I was saying? You don't. You don't want to hit the uh, any items into you. There we go. That one got turned. Monty, you might not make it, unfortunately. Um, okay, so that's what sucks. I forgot at the last second that if they're in water, you can't bop them. All right. Just calm it down. Calm it down. Calm it down. I didn't set that up properly. That's my fault. Um, that was 
very, 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 very close to that. Like that was pixels. That was within pixels. Okay, that 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 again. I'm I'm kind of getting a little bit too um, undisciplined here. You know, you can't have a high score if you're dead. So I've gotta I gotta make sure that I'm. Okay, I definitely want to kill you. Let's see if we can do that. Get up there. Uh, that gem I technically can get, but. Or I can get it turned into a diamond. Let's try and get you. Alright. Again, you can see how long, like, you can you can do that. You can make a lot of money on these, but I typically don't just because it takes, you know, a lot of time. And it's fun here and there for sure, but. Okay, we got one. I'll try to see if I can get the other one. And by see, I mean like I know, but you also got to create, yeah, a lot of pathways for yourself. So you for sure get rid of that guy. The monkeys are a pain in the butt. Uh, we can get that gold pretty easily. Let me just do this. Get them to come down. There you go, daddy. Or I should say mommy. When you get the camera. You'll know what I mean. Okay. Is there anything up here that I didn't get? Nope. Um. Oops. I meant to jump over that one, but that's fine. Now, I do want to get Monty. This guy, I'm not going to worry about. Uh, that 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 gem, either. I mean, look it. I don't know what Ryan and Dan are going to do. Here's the thing. I know Ryan has, you know, he has a good amount of hours in this game. Um, probably, actually, like, not too dissimilar from me. I would say I, I, I would have more, but... I think you'd be surprised. That said, he's he's good at video games in general and platformers and he's got good reaction time and all that. Dan, I know, is newer to this game. I know he's beaten Olmec, uh, to the best of my knowledge. I don't believe he's beaten King Yama Yama Ding Dong. So, um, but again, I, I think sometimes that and on this level, I'm not gonna try to Try to do the gems. That is definitely worth it, though. I mean, one bomb for three. Yes, sir. I'll see you in a bit. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I think, you know, there's a certain advantage of not being... I'm not saying Dan has an advantage. You know, I think him having a lack of experience or, like, just winning, having not beaten the, the game, like, the full full-length version is for sure a disadvantage. But also, the more familiar you are with something, sometimes you can get pretty careless, I'd say. So I think he's going to be on high guard. And that'll help a lot in the earlier levels, because I'd say most of the time that I die in this game, it's from... It's from, uh... Like, in the earlier levels, when you're like, eh, you know, if I die, it's, it's not as big a deal, I'll just start over. Um and and all that <clears throat> um and i don't do daily runs that that often so I, i'm usually a little bit more careless also i need a sip of water water has been sipped okay um 18 bombs again i want to save some for actual fights and stuff too so i don't want to use them all um, like, this will be a great situation where, you know, I don't want to jump down there. Oh, okay. He took care of himself. That's even better. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait till he walks back that way. Those, those pots could have gems in them. We'll 
just do that. Just to... Nope. Uh, 16 left. I will... Mm. For a ruby. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. I still want a Kapala. That's the thing. I, I gotta try and focus on getting a Kapala. But, um... Okay, that's good. We'll do that. Again, that pot could have another gem. Nope. A little gold, though. So what are we at? We're at... A touch over a quarter of a million, which for me at this point in in time is it's not bad. I'm I'm not complaining. We know uh, if I had a jetpack, I for sure would take some more time trying to turn a lot of these into uh, diamonds. Okay, that was not great, but. Okay, this is where you gotta be like, I gotta tell myself, you know, you could do it a little bit more closely, but don't, don't push it, buddy. Because the kickback from the shotgun, and who knows, you get hit by this tiki trap. Alright, take your time. You know, we got two and a half minutes on each level before the ghost comes, and, and that's fine. Also, just identifying if there's, like, certain paths I want to take. Actually, this, because I'll get this gem. And then I can avoid having to, like, jump over this guy. You know? That's a good path. Okay. Spike shoes would be really good. Uh, especially when we get to the, uh, the ice caves. That said, climbing gloves and cape go a long way there. So, um... Yeah, okay, this could be a skeleton. I mean, it is a skeleton, but, you know, a reanimated one. Uh, the cool thing about the cape, though, have a little patience, so you can, you can uh, deal with those spikes pretty, pretty, pretty easily, so. Alright, I kind of want this ruby. See? There you go. Okay, again, you know, I want Monty, but getting Monty means putting down the shotgun. And that's, like, scary to me because you might need it, you know, or you're, you're going out of your way to, to get Monty. And All right, we'll do this. Bomb the spikes just in case. Now, this is a scarier part here because the bat's going to come at us. You got to you gotta be ready for it. It's not that the bat is necessarily scary, but when you jump off of this guy, it's going to bop you into somebody else. And um, Oof. Now, I know you're thinking... I know there's the treasure chest down there. There's a lot of... There's a few. There, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of treasure down at the bottom of the water. Would have been a great way to make a lot of money. A lot of money. That said, I, I I feel more comfortable. If we had, say, like 30 bombs, it'd almost be no question of going down there. Um, that said, I also wish I had have known about it um, a bit sooner to give myself more time to get it. And then you can have the ghost go down there and uh, turn whatever into to diamonds and, and really make it worth uh, the risk, but I think, again, right now, like, you know, here's the thing, I don't, like, I know, I have, I have no doubt Ryan is gonna beat hell. No doubt. I know he's capable of it, and, and he knows how to do it, and what to do, and, and, uh, he's aware of, oh my gosh, see, I got a little distracted talking. I saw the skeleton there, but I didn't think to pause and let it reanimate if it was going to. So, you know, we, we do just have to stay alive for the next, uh, either next level or 3-3. Three, three. So I really don't want to get too, 
too greedy here. The the level with the Moai is the one where you do a little bit more exploration and try to get more money before you do go out. Because if you you make a mistake and you get swatted by a a Yeti or something like that, well, you're gonna you're gonna do it anyway. So. Also, the thing about you got to be ready for is all the jump pads, which are kind of hidden under the snow. Because um, they can, you know, push you up in all, all sorts of, of, of things. And you kind of can lose control for a second there, so. <clears throat> okay. Just keep it nice and simple. Um, We are going to lose our shotgun as well when we do the deed. So I do want to keep a bit of a, a buffer of bombs because we're going to need them to probably help us fight slash get a new one. So some of the gems on this level I'm going to be less likely to, to bomb to get. So you, you see the, the jump pad to the right of the, the mine there? Sorry, I had to take a sip of water. <clears throat> Normally I wouldn't notice that and I'd probably like try to do something with the mine or... This is, this is, this is bad. This is bad. Spike shoes, what am I saying? Spike shoes give you a lot of control on this level. So we got to get above that guy. And by the guy, I mean the shopkeeper. <clears throat> and just get him to, to jump off. I don't need to, to trade shots with them. Not necessary. Um, what I am going to do is give myself a, an extra escape here. And use it. Nice and gentle. Okay, and we can just get on the wall like this. And Bob's your uncle. There you go. You know, you take an extra few seconds. You, you don't go out of your way. I'm okay at the game, but I'm not that confident, especially when, uh, 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 even, you know, it's a fun little competition. And there's no money or anything, but... I don't mind winning if I think I have a chance. So I'm not gonna try to be too showboaty or, or or put my neck on the line trying to do cool things, so. Okay, stay safe. Uh, did I see, I think I saw the Moai, right? Yes, okay, so. Given that, um, I think what I'm gonna try to do is not, oops. Um, even though we only have climbing gloves, I shouldn't say only, but, um, climbing gloves and the cape, we're still able to turn a lot of these gems into, um, diamonds. And there are some bombs in there. Uh, I wonder what's in the, the gift box. Alright. The other thing is, you know... I will use one there just to get rid of him now because that guy's going to be a pain later on. Okay. Um, do that. Okay. We'll get that gold after. Oops. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Kapala, Kapala. This is perfect. Um, I want to put Monty on there before I maybe accidentally anger Kali, so um, we'll do that because that mine, you know, there's a chance it'll it'll go off or or an alien will, you know, that's the thing. When I kill that alien, it could have somehow accidentally flown flown. Uh... I was trying to blow up a bit of the shop, but that's fine. That guy will probably, like, go down there soon, I hope. They're okay. He went down. Let's try to get this guy. Um, I'm going to be a little smarter about this and just go from the top. Um, do that. Now, I don't want to use this many bombs, but... We are going to get a few. 
Uh oh, those spike shoes, no! Oh, okay. I was like, I really want those. <laughs> and, um. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Don't be afraid to use a couple ropes. Um. Again, if we die here, you know, it's not the end of the world. I do want to up the value of these gems, because that's going to take me a long, long, long way into hopefully uh, securing a, a number one position, at least for this daily. You know, that's the thing, too, is there's going to be some where I accidentally, uh, you know, die pretty early on and... And, uh, you know, we'll undoubtedly f finish last. It happens. I'm also just gonna... Oh, wait, I shouldn't do that. Those will crush the gems, eh? I also need to kill these guys. So that I can travel across there. Plus, they, they give you gems. Now I'll have to come back for those. But that one, we should be good to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some extra cash. Yes, yes. And then this guy, and then I'll, I'll go up. Let me just give myself. Okay. Line it up. I mean, this is kind of fun, like, because of the competition. This is, this is fun. You know, I feel like I'm generally in control, and that's nice. I wouldn't want to do this every run, but because, you know, the the goblet, the golden goblet is on the line, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm, I'm willing to spend a little extra time and effort. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I'm getting this one, though. You might be, oh, mouth, just, it's only a few thousand. I'm telling you, man. I, I, Ryan knows how to do this. I wouldn't be surprised. You know, Dan's the kind of guy that he, he's, he's pretty competitive. He gets hyped up. He, he likes to, he likes to learn. I've watched enough of him playing Tarkov. The dang front dang seat is a very powerful institution. Okay. So I'm, I'm not, I'm having fun with this. But I'm telling you, I'm not taking these guys lightly. That's the first mistake you could make, right? Taking the competition lightly. They might even... they. I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if it's, you know... Like, it's weird for me to say that I'm probably the favorite in something. Uh, like, especially video game related. I'm not known for being, you know... Like, my play style in video games. I think I'm good to... Remember to kill yourself, too. A lot of times I'll do this, and then I'll actually just go in the exit. So, um... Let's just, uh... Do I have a parachute? I do. But I'd rather not use it here, so I'm just gonna go, like, down, down, down. There you go. <sighs> okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not... I. I I hope I'm not sounding too arrogant when I say that, but I, I think a lot of people might expect that I would come out on top in a lot of these. So I'm not... Okay, now now though, now that I, I don't have a shot, I'm just going to get these. I got I to gotta remember, okay, we're... We got to live at this point. We do have the Kapala, which is nice, but I don't have a shotgun yet, so we have to be really careful. Really careful. 18 bombs is a good amount as well. Um, I am going to get a couple hidden gems while I can. Still need to see that movie. Or wait, uncut gems. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm not used to this kind of like... I feel like there's a slight pressure. See, look at... Look at I, I was like, that spider's going to jump up here. He's going to jump on it, right? If you're not ready for that, that could be the end of you. Um, anyways, 
Yeah, I'm not I'm not really used to this added uh like Oh, do people actually expect me to win? Oh jeez. I better perform. Uh I do I do I'm going to try to Kobe. I'm going to try to uh turn all of that into diamonds. I just need to make sure the area above is secure. Ah. Uh, I'm trying to actually hit the alien. I'm just actually losing my mind here. There, we'll do it that way. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes it's hard to beat a good old-fashioned rope when you're your throw is off. Okay. Um, let's see here. One. We'll come back to that in a second. You got to be careful with the chest too, you know. Uh, bombs could come out of them, so you have to be always ready to move. Okay, we got eight more bombs. Um, you just gotta be able to access this in such a way that you don't pick them up. Okay, that other other one is gonna not be got. At least not for now. The thing is, I didn't really prepare, like, get the shopkeeper killed. Um... And clearly there is one, and he's not in the vault. Okay. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about that other one as much as I kind of want it. Um, we got to... Kind of surprised. Oh, he's over there. Okay. I'm kind of surprised that I don't have a compass yet, which would be great, but... Okay, I think he dropped. Yes, he did. Music stopped, and it means he dropped. Uh... Let's go up. Do not. You see that you don't need to jump on that Yeti. Yeah, I'd get a little bit of blood, a little bit of life, but the Yeti SWAT in the ice caves is is one of the deadliest things known. Oh, hello. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's one of the, the deadliest things ever. Period. Because, yeah, it doesn't hurt. It, the amount of health you lose from it? Not a ton, but they could swat you onto a mine. They could swat you onto spikes. They could swat you onto... Okay, we gotta get above this guy. Um, Am I going to ghost here? No, because we don't really have a lot of bombs. Um, okay, see, that was an accident. But let's pretend I meant to do that. I was hoping that would take out the alien. You don't need to kill him. I just want to get to the ice caves at this point. Um, okay. Um, some bombs would be nice. The thing about the mines is if you're careful, that's a free bomb. But this one right there, because I can't come at it from the side, really, uh, I'm not going to do it. No, I didn't mean to do that, and I almost got hit by the own thing that I was trying to... Ah, oh, jeez. You know, this is a, a highly ropeable situation. But these, these yetis are kind of getting in my way. Let's see. The thing is, if I get Monty on that, that's a lot of like. If we get one more Monty, we get a lot of health. You know, the Kapala in and of itself is great, but 
I'm not gonna Yeti farm this, which I could do. Okay, so we know... Yeah, okay, he's over there. I don't have the pitcher's glove either. I believe I killed him. That said, I do not believe um, his shotgun is there. It might be under this pile. Yes, I know I could put these guys on. No. We will get a shotgun um, easily enough on the temple. How much money do I have? Yo! All right. So we're, you know, I can, I can sit back a little bit more if we beat the game if we beat hell um that's a lot of rubies we stand to gain so um you know right now thwomps are gonna be one of our biggest threats and not having a compass here is is also going to be um a pretty big issue so This one is definitely worth it. It hurts. I've only got five bombs left, but I'm not risking it. I can get some gem. Oh, no. That guy can't walk through here. Um, okay. I see the trap over there, which makes this all very difficult. Try to jump on this guy. Or there you go. That's gonna be the way down I wanna go. And I'll do this so I can climb back up through the wall. I don't need to use ropes. Right now it's just about survival. Uh, we also need a couple of bombs for what's his face? Scepter Man. Spoon Man's cousin. Okay. He's right there. You kind of want to... This is where it gets a little tricky. He's kind of trapped up there. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, that was good. If we could get him down a bit more... It would help me a great deal. There you go. There you go. Okay. We have one bomb left. That's, um... Wow. The thing is, like... I need more bombs. <laughs> uh, there should be a shop on the next temple, so here's to hoping for the City of Gold. Okay. Watch the thwomp. Ghost is going to come from our left. I know I can use the scepter here, but I try not to. Um, if it's not needed, get away from it because it'll kill you. Okay, I need to. I need to to. I need a little more time. Little little more time. Watch the thwomp. I cannot use my last bomb right now I could kill these guys normally uh, or with the scepter I know just shut up just shut up let me live there's so much pressure I mean now like I feel okay with this amount of money but um I would like to win. And that means I need more. Okay. So we will be able to get a shotgun before we go into the city of gold, which is great. All right, get that guy. Now, the thing about that crate is like, I don't know, man. There's a, there's a, statistically, I don't know what the, the, the chance of, like, certain items in crates. 
bombs and ropes are the highest. I don't actually know if one of those two is higher than the other. But, um, I mean, like, I can't, I can't risk it right now. Okay. Try to stay away from it so it doesn't lock onto us. I don't know. I was just doing that because I'm, I'm scared. You'll pay for your crimes. All right. Somebody's upset. I don't want to unlock the thingy yet. Um, I'm also gonna do that just in case. Oh, I for oh I forgot. It's been a it's been a while. It burnt my rope. Oof. Okay. Just try to give ourselves a little more time to think. You gotta watch for the lava, man. Go quickly. already gone off okay we killed him I mean I need a shotgun going into the city of gold that's like non-debatable okay take your time but not too much I don't actually know how I'm supposed to get back up there without Oh gosh, oh gosh, go, 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 go. Okay. Um. Dude, I don't know. I got four more ropes. The thing is. Oh, jeez. I gotta, I just gotta go, you know? <sighs> this is terrible. I didn't, I should have been more conservative with bombs, and you're probably saying it the whole time. Um, here's the other thing you always need to carry something. Okay, that thwomp is gonna come at us. That's fine. Just jump. Don't jump up into the thwomp. Like, I wanted that gold, but... Oh, freak. I wanted to set this one off, just so I could have the, the thingy. Watch the skeleton. Okay. Watch the two thwomps to the right. You know, it's got me wondering, can I, can I access, okay, that thwomp is there, I see it. I think I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get past these thwomps, man. Man, bombs would make this so easy, right? You just, I think I know how to do this. There's one. There's two, okay. They should be. You know, out of the picture now. Um, the thing is, I need more bombs to kill. What's his face? Actually, what if I... Okay. We do this. That's our point of entry. I should be able to jump on him. To, to kill him. Actually, I don't know. I've never tried to jump on him. All right, well. <sighs> I'm not allowed to view the leaderboard. How do I... How do I not view the leaderboard? I think I got to alt F for it. Um, I mean, oh, that's a rough one. That's a rough one. I should have, the thing is, when you don't kill that Anubis 2 or whatever, um, he follows you around, which I guess kind of would have been okay. Um, but not really. I really shot myself in the foot with the, the lack of bombs and it hurts and... Uh, 
I mean, that could be a very easily, like, that could be a win there. But I, I have a feeling, a strong feeling that Ryan is going to make it to the end. And, um, you know, all those rubies from beating King Yama, I mean, that's a good chunk of change. The extra money you get from winning is a good chunk of money. Um, I mean, it's easy to, to, even if you're playing a little more conservatively than I was at the, the start, it's easy to crack, you know, half a million. So, for, uh, I don't know, you know, I feel, oh, man. I, you know, this is that one moment. I was like, if I didn't know if I could actually jump on his head to kill him, because I've never tried that. I have never tried that before. Um, I, uh, I mean, and it wouldn't, it would have been fine because he didn't hurt me. Um, but the ticky trap, you know, I didn't think of all the angles before I just started doing it. And <sighs> mouth, mouth, mouth. <sighs> You put yourself in this situation. You went a little too crazy with the bombs. Oh, man. It hurts. Because I was otherwise playing okay. I was just too greedy. Oh, well. Anyways, um, you know, I hope you guys have enjoyed this first uh, first episode, first uh, session of uh, the, the Golden Goblet uh, series. Um, I'm going to have to do better next episode. Um. And by better, I just mean, like, I want to win. I want to beat King Yama every time. If I have a bit less money, that would actually... I'd rather beat the game and have slightly less money than have more money but die. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Ideally, I'd like both. Have more money and, and beat hell. But, oh, you can't always get what you want. Oh, it hurts. I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys very much for uh, for tuning in. I uh, I appreciate it, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Until then, peace out.